Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the single phase AC circuits. In single phase AC circuits, we are going to see what is the behavior of AC if we give the AC to the resistive circuit. Okay. Now we are taking one simple circuit which is having only resistor. Okay, it does not have any inductor and capacitor. We are giving the AC supply to the pure resistive circuit. So this is the current passing through the circuit and this is the voltage across the resistor that is VR. Okay, if you see the phasor diagram, as we are giving resist, uh, AC supply to the pure resistive circuit, there is no phase angle difference between voltage and current. Voltage and current both are in the same phase. So from this we can say that the phase angle between voltage and current is 0 degrees. That is pi. Phase angle between voltage and current is indicated by pi. Pi is equal to 0. Okay. There is no phase angle between voltage and current. If you see the waveform, this is the voltage waveform and it is a current waveform. So both the waveforms are starting from 0 position only. There is no phase difference between voltage and current. And the if positive off cycle is ending at 180 degrees for the both voltage waveform and current waveform and and again the negative off cycle is starting from 180 degrees both are starting from 180 degrees only there is no phase difference between voltage and current and the negative off cycle ending at 360 degrees both voltage as well as the current so from this we can say that there is no phase difference between voltage and current of a pure resistive circuit. So that's why pi is equal to 0. There is no phase angle between voltage and current. So that, that is a, uh, about the pure resistive circuit. Now let's see about the pure inductor, inductive circuit and pure capacitive circuit. How we will get the response? If we give the AC supply to the pure inductor, this is the simple circuit which is having only inductor. We are giving the AC supply to the inductive circuit. This is the total current and this is the voltage across the inductor. Okay. So if we see the phasor diagram, here in phasor diagram, current lags the voltage. Here how current lags the voltage by how many degrees here? Current lags the voltage by 90 degrees. So phasor notation always we will take in anti-clockwise direction. So we can call it as here. Current lags the voltage by 90 degrees. Here current is lagging the voltage here. That's why current lags the voltage by 90 degrees. In pure inductive circuit. Okay. The phase angle between voltage and current, we can say that pi is equal to 90 degrees. There is a difference of 90 degrees between voltage and current. Okay. Now, if you see the waveform of the pure inductive circuit, there is a phase difference of 90 degrees between voltage waveform and the current waveform. Okay, here initially the voltage waveform is starting from 0 and the positive off cycle is ending at pi degrees and the negative off cycle is ending at 2 pi degrees. Okay, so if we take the current waveform, so it is starting from 90 degrees. Okay, it is of the positive off cycle ending more than 180 degrees. And the negative off cycle is ending at more than 2 pi degrees. So there is a phase difference between voltage and current. That phase difference is indicated by pi. That pi is equal to 180 degrees here. Okay. So here current is lagging. If, if, if we observe the waveform, here the voltage is leading. Voltage is starting from the zero position and the, this current is starting from 190 degrees. So here current is lagging. And the voltage is leading. Okay. So we can say that current lags the voltage by how many degrees? 90 degrees. We can also say that voltage leads the current by 90 degrees. Okay. Here in for pure inductive circuit, current lags the voltage by 90 degrees, or also we can say that voltage leads the current by 90 degrees. Both are same. Okay. This is about the pure inductive circuit. Now Let's see pure capacitive circuit. If we give the AC supply to the pure capacitive circuit, 
So how the behavior that we will see now, we are giving the AC supply to the pure capacitor circuit. I is the total current and VC is the voltage across the capacitor. Okay, now if you see the phasor diagram, this is a phasor diagram of capacitor circuit here. Current leads the voltage by 90 degrees here. In the inductive circuit, we have seen current lags the voltage by 90 degrees. But here in capacitive circuit, current leads the voltage here. Current leads the voltage by 90 degrees. So from this, we can say that phase angle between voltage and current is 90 degrees. Okay, the phase angle between voltage and current is indicated by pi. Here pi is equal to 90 degrees. Now, if we observe the waveforms, here, if, if we observe the waveform, here current is leading here. In the previous case, current is lagging, but now here the current is leading. Current is starting from zero position. The positive off cycle is ending at pi degrees. Okay, and the in the negative off cycle, it is ending at two pi degrees. Okay, this is about the current waveform. And if we observe the voltage waveform, it is starting from 90 degrees. Okay, and the positive off cycle ending at more than 180 degrees and the negative off cycle ending at more than 2 pi degrees. So, uh, it is clear that there is a phase difference between voltage waveform and the current waveform. So, we can say that the phase angle between voltage and current is 90 degrees. The phase difference is indicated by pi. Pi is equal to 90 degrees here. Here current lags the voltage, sorry, current leads the voltage by how many degrees? 90 degrees. Or we can say that voltage lags the current by 90 degrees. Here current leads the voltage by how many degrees? Pi is equal to 90 degrees. Or we can say that voltage leads the current by how many degrees? 90 degrees. Okay, so if you summarize that, the phase angle between voltage and current of a pure resistive circuit pi is equal to 0 degrees okay the phase angle between voltage and current of a pure inductive circuit is also pi is equal to 90 degrees okay if we take the capacitive circuit the phase angle between voltage and current of a pure capacitive circuit is 90 degrees okay so here if we take the inductive circuit current lags the voltage by 90 degrees. In capacitive circuit, current leads the voltage by 90 degrees. Okay. In inductive circuit, current lags the voltage. In capacitive circuit, current leads the voltage. Okay. This is about the pure resistive circuit and pure inductive circuit and pure capacitive circuit. The behavior of AC through pure R, pure L and pure C capacitive circuit. Okay. So, this, uh, that is about the today's session in the next class we will discuss about the behavior of ac through rl series circuit and rc series circuit and rlc series circuit